Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we are continuing on with some AP Physics 1 free response questions and this is an energy focused topic. Um, I encourage you to pause the video, attempt to do the problem yourself, and then come back and watch after you've tried the video, tried the problem. One end of the spring is attached to a solid wall while the other end reaches the edge of a horizontal frictionless table which is a distance h above the floor. A block of mass M is placed against the end of the spring and pushed toward the wall until the spring is compressed at distance X, as shown above. The block is released following the trajectory shown and strikes the floor hor dis horizontal distance from the edge of the table. Air is negligible. Determine the expressions for the following quantities in terms of these letters. Note that these symbols do not include the spring constant. Okay. So a, the time elapsed from the instant the block leaves the table to the instant it strikes the floor. Okay, that's a kinematic question, really. The, the time it takes from here to hit the floor um, is given, whenever you do projectile motion, the time it takes to hit the floor is just the vertical motion. So delta y or delta x is equal to v naught t plus 1 half at squared in the vertical direction, y direction. It's, its vertical displacement is going to be h. Its initial velocity in the y direction is 0. So this is 0. 1 half g t squared. So t would equal uh, 2h over g square root. Okay, that's a. The horizontal component of the velocity block just before it hits the floor. Well, the horizontal component of the velocity is the horizontal component of the velocity right here. Okay. And the way you usually want to do the velocity here is, let's see. Okay, it's always compressed x a distance x, so um, it's a conservation of energy. The, the velocity, 1 half mv squared. Um, oh, actually, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to say the horizontal component of the velocity, I'm, uh, what I'm given is the distance, right? The distance is just equal its velocity times time. So its velocity is given by uh, uh, distance over time. Well, the distance is already given as a variable, one of the variables I can use. And the time we solved was square root of 2h over g and from part a. So I can flip the square root, so it would be 2 square roots g over 2h. That would be its velocity here. The work done on the block by the spring. So basically, the spring does all the work to con to give it kinetic energy. It has no kinetic energy here, and then it has kinetic energy here as it's accelerating. So the energy it has is one half m v squared, and that would have to be the work done by the spring because all of its kinetic energy came from the spring. v squared is d root g over 2h squared. So that's 1 half m d squared g over 2h. That's equal to um, 1 fourth m d squared g over h. All right, d. Now we have to figure out the spring constant. Well, if the work it did was this, and it was, um, then the work of the spring is that how much energy it had in the spring initially, which is 1 half k delta x squared. Delta x is x, is a capital X, 1 half kx squared. So that's equal to the work the spring did, 1 fourth m d squared g over h. So I can solve for k. I'm going to multiply by 2. That will make this 2 and divide by x squared, so I get k is equal to m d squared g over 2 x squared h. Okay. So this one's kind of a backwards. They kind of step you through it backwards um, from the kinematics to figure out the velocity, then figure out the spring constant. Okay. Uh, hope you found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.